Big O notation only cares about the theoretical slowdown of an algorithm as its input size grows. It doesn't actually care about how long, like in seconds, this algorithm is gonna take to run. So when I say, if a linear time algorithm takes one nanosecond to run with an input size of one, then it will take about 10,000 nanoseconds to run for an input size of 10,000. Like that is true, but whether or not it actually takes one nanosecond on an input size of one or one full second on an input size of one is actually completely irrelevant to Big O. All we care about is the proportional change from one item to 10,000 items. We don't care about how long it actually takes. And when I say we don't care, I mean we don't care as computer scientists doing this theoretical exercise. Of course, as software engineers, we care. No one cares if the big O of your website's load time is constant. If it actually takes five seconds to load, that's a terrible experience. So as software engineers, we do care about constants, but when we're doing big O analysis, we don't really care. We just kind of brush it aside. We hand wave it away. Say you have a function running in production and it takes five seconds to run on an input size of 10,000. Then you benchmark it again on an input size of 10 million and it still just takes five seconds to run. Well, that's actually a constant time algorithm. The runtime isn't being affected by how big the input size is. But whether or not five seconds is actually tolerable by your users is up to your users, I suppose. But why this matters is that five seconds in big O terms, we just don't care. We don't say, oh, it's order five because it took five seconds. We just say it's order one because it's constant. So that constant can always just be reduced to one. Let's take a look at another concrete example. Here we've got a function called sum. Takes a list of numbers, iterates over all the numbers, summing the result as it goes and returns it. This is fairly obviously an order n algorithm. Now this is interesting. Let's say we take another function. This one's called triple sum. It iterates over every item in the input once, summing the items as it go, but this time it does it again and again. So just looking at this function, you can tell this function takes three times as long to run as the first one. Instead of looping over the input once, we're doing it three times. So if the first algorithm is order n, wouldn't this one be like order three n? And the answer is yes, but we don't care. We're doing big O analysis, constants don't matter. So that three, just reduces to a one and we get order N again.